So, as we say, this is the interactive whiteboard with a brushed aluminum frame and our steel surface. So once we, when we have a smart pen, smart tray with half sensors, once you pick up the pen, it will start the software which will pop up. We have here the hot keys on both sides. We'll start explaining one by one. So, first one here is for the sources, and it's coming default in the software, which has like small and simple things like annotations and shapes like this. So you'll just simply drag it like this, and you can maximize it or rotate it or to place it somewhere. And you have here other option like if you have want to make copy, cut, uh, cut copy, paste, delete, group, or lock, or visibility, and drag ballooning, and make it ballooning, and all the options is available. Okay? Second one is to save. So you can save it on any place on your PC that you are using. Okay? So, and it will be saved on the format of the software, which is HHD. Third one, it's color, uh, like filling, and to change the background of the, the color of the background, so look, it's coming, the default one is red, so you can change, change to another one, to yellow or anything, or this one. So you just, and click it, and it will just change to this color that you choose. Then you have here add what add new page. If you keep pressing it, it's, you have add keep adding adding, and you have unlimited adding pages. Then you have previous next page, and this one is for the previous band. Like for example, I was using here the brush. Okay, and I want to choose the previous band. It's not working here. Okay. Or the arrow here, and I will choose. Yeah. If it's coming to the previous pen, if you're using that arrow, and then you press it, it will come to the previous pen and it will appear. Okay. Then you have here the thickness of the, of the line. You have thin, and then medium, and the thickest one which is here when I'm using the brush, so it will not be shown. Then I have here to select, like for example, I have, I need to select something, or I need to select word or shape or something like that, to make it separate, like for example, I will write here. Okay, and I need to select something. I need to make them separate the letters or something like that, so what I will just use, I will do like this, and make it like that, or change it, or resize it, or rotate it however I want, just to separate the whole word from each other, like this also, and it will be different than this. Okay, then I have undo. Now it's back again. Now I have here the razor, the razor and this eraser is a region eraser, so if I make like this, so the whole word will go. And this one to flip it to to use the desktop to go on the desktop and the software will be just on this taskbar and you can just open any file if you want and you start using it and if you want like for example if you have file here and this will be open and you need to annotate on it so this file opens a PDF file so I need to make annotation on it so I will just use a different band here. Yes. So it will be like this, and you start explaining what you have if it's subject material or something like that. Okay. Then I have here the text box, which is hand with a T, and. If you want to make a title or something like that with a keyboard, the screen keyboard. So you just select that screen keyboard and it will be and it will pop up. 
and you start writing. Okay? Or you can use the handwriting recognition. Or simply you will write whatever you want. Sorry, this one needs to be erased, so I will do one more. One step. It just needs to be the recognizing of the pen is so fast, so you can reduce it or do different recognition. Then I have, after the text box, I have a K1 which is for zoom in. Like for example, I need to zoom on something, like for example this shape, and I need to zoom in, so I'll just press here, and I'll zoom in. So it will be like this. Keep zooming. Okay. And the X here is for to clear the whole page. So not for to close the software. Then I will use here this go to the right side of the options which is here. Okay, so I have here first one I have the arrow which is for selecting which we saw in the hotkeys. Then I have the normal band for writing and we can choose the normal band. This is for writing. The other one here is the brush tool for drawing. You can use the thickest line to show the thickness. And it's coming like this. Okay. Then you have the bamboo pen. Bamboo pen is more specified for the Arabic writings or if you want to draw the writings. So it will be like this coming like that, okay? Or whatever you want, like for example, I'm writing, trying to write my name as an Arabic, so it will be like this, and if you want to write it in English, so like that. Okay? Then I have here the laser, uh, the highlighter. If I want to highlight something, like for example, um, I write something, let's say I use here the different color. So I want Okay, and I need to highlight something. So I can use the highlighter and it would be like this. I can change it if you want to and if you want to change the color so I will just simply use this and use the normal coloring that I'm using that we use for highlighter. So it will be like this. Okay? Then I have the laser pen. Laser pen is basically it's used for lectures or something like that. If the teacher or something like that they are using uh, want to grab the attention of the students for an important title. Simply, they can just underline the title or something like that. You would be like this, and it will be start flashing. And it's usable only for one time on the page. Like, for example, if I need a, another title, the teacher has another important title for the, and he will underline, underline the title, so the first one will go. Also, if I choose another pen, this the laser pen will go. Okay? Then I have here the texture texture pen. Texture pen basically is giving different colors for the writing and like colorful pen as we can see. So simply it just will be looking like this. And you can change the color for this texture pen from here. <coughs> and you have here different colors with, with shapes. So you can write like that, and it will be like this. And also if you make like this, it will be giving you like shape. So something like this, you can make it. And you can use 
the pen to write something here if you want anything like for example like if you want to change the background or something like that and you write something okay then I have here the gesture pen which is pen with the, with the hand which have multi functions first one is the writing which is normal writing and second function like if I want if I made a mistake on this one and I want to erase it instead of going to the eraser or something like that I will just simply do it like this and it will be erased then the option is previous page like this sorry like this or like this so it will be showing like that and this page is mine. so as you see here the page is flipping then I have the shortcut box shortcut box so that if you want to like for example if the teacher in a state of he's going to the PC and opening any file or searching for the file or something like that before the lecture he can simply do just open it, edit, and he can write, for example, website or anything. So it just, for example, will do like any website. Okay, and then save it. Okay. okay. So and once the once the lecture will start and he wants to open the website or a file or something like that, anything, it will be showing here. And he simply just press like this on the website or the link of the video or the file on his PC. Just and he press it and it will be open. Take it take him directly to it instead of he's going to the PC and searching and all of this. Okay? Okay, so and this one is for playing a video, so just to open it and you'll just choose the video or any video that you have and you'll just drag it like this with the size that you want to play and it will start playing here and you have all, all the options here for pause, stop, forward or the volume or anything and if you want to take a snapshot, video snapshot, so it'll just take a snapshot of the video and this first snapshot, so you will take a snapshot here, and if you want to make annotation on the snapshot or something like that, so you can write whatever you want, okay? And or if you want to make a, a snapshot, a annotation on the video or something like that, so you will just simply press here and you start an annotation on the video, and it will be bold if you want to make annotation on the video. Then. After that, I have here the same one as this, as we say on the hot case is for the resources, which is coming with the annotation, simple annotation and flat flash files. Okay. Then I have here also the text box as we said also before on the hot case. So you will just make like this, and it will come, and you can make the title either with a screen uh, screen keyboard or with the handwriting recognition. Then I have here the intelligent pen. Intelligent pen is for to make to take the, the nearest shape that you're drawing. Like for example, I'm drawing here triangle, so not triangle. So I'm triangle or circle like this or square. So it will take the nearest shape for you. Then I have here. The eraser. I have two types of eraser, which is the region eraser or the pixel eraser. Do you notice that if I pick up the, the eraser from here, it will be automatically region. So I like this. But if I want to choose the pixel one, I have to go from here and choose the pixel. And also notice that the pixel eraser is not working with the intelligent pen. The intelligent pen to erase the shape, you have to use that intel the region eraser at all.